The last America's Cup in the AC50s was really exciting racing, but the yachts were very, very similar to each other. The hull shapes were all the same, the beams the same, the wings the same shape, and there were very tight rules around the, the foils and rudders. So it, it took a real trained eye to actually see what the differences were which gave really close racing, but not quite so much excitement in design terms. You were really focusing on design and the real optimization of the sort of fine details of the foils. As defender, I guess there's an element of risk in whichever path you go down. Sure, we had a lot of experience and knowledge about how to make an AC50 optimal, but also everyone else had seen what we've done. They'd seen the development of our foils and our control systems, and that would be very easy to copy. We're really proud of the innovation that we put into that yacht in the last cup, and we believe in our team's ability to innovate. So by opening the playing field, we've uh, playing to our strengths. When we developed the class rule, we wanted to allow space for innovation and space for teams to design different hull shapes, different ways of controlling the sails, different foils and rudders. So designers have a much bigger area in which to play. As engineers, we love that. The America's Cup has always been a design race. It's very much about the engineering and the concepts and the ideas. And when each team launched their boats, we saw exactly that. I mean, it was so cool to see the path each team had gone down and all very different to each other. So you can see some logic in, in why each team has, has, has chosen a direction, but we'll find out who, who's got it right and who's got it wrong. Everyone was really excited by the racing last time and the sailors had no wish to go back to slower, non-foiling displacement boats. But at the same time, we all wanted to do something new. And I think the class we've gone to with the AC75 it really allows us to keep up that momentum of really high speed, high performance, exciting boats, but also go off in a new direction and, and do something completely different.